the movement of water, the creation of uh, flowing water sounds and the texture of flowing water. For example, in the Chini Khana, we have a sheet of water. The sheet of water by itself can look very static because you lose the sense of flow when you have laminar water. And that is why the lighting there then picks up that flowing quality by being dynamic behind the screen. For the trees, we have uh, lights within the foliage which will then bring out the movement of the leaves by creating moving shadows where people are seated. So rather than just light the tree as a sculptural object, we are actually looking at the tree as a light filter. So it is, it is a light modulator and there is no need felt here to simply light trees as sculptural objects in a landscape garden, which is what is far more common. And Believe me, it was very tempting to do so, but uh, we felt that from the long distance view, the trees were really not uh, intrinsic to that reading of the building. So we felt that we could eliminate that sculptural reading of the tree and instead use it to heighten uh, very strongly the experience for the visitors to the terrace. And is this the same uh, reason why the dam, you want to incorporate dam in your overall scheme of things? It is not the only reason. The dam is the sense of infinity. And when you are seated amidst a pool of inky black water, you can feel a bit detached. Now, on three sides, we will have the urban, um, the urban lighting or the urban city of this building. So we will have the crafts and the retail area on one side, which will form its own promenade and viewing platform. On one side, we have the main uh, old highway of the city. And on the last side, we have Kanak Vrindavan. Now, all of these are urban representations. And on the fourth side, we wanted to create an illusion of depth. We wanted to create that illusion of infinity. So, strategically positioned right between the two mountains is this dam. And the dam is lit merely as a marker of distance. It is lost in the mist. It is not something which is uh, lit to a level which makes it prominent in the foreground, but it is lit so that it becomes a bit, uh, it, it, it recedes into the background and yet it is there as a, as a token of uh, the edge of civilization. And